Hello, Scott Davis from LionGuard here, and today I want to talk about the process of using LionGuard's depth of data to help you and your MSP find operational advantage when it comes to security updates. So what I mean is we can take a look here at CISA.gov, CISA.gov, and we can see August 25th, Cisco releases security updates for multiple products. So I can go into the Cisco Security Advisories page and I can see, okay, at the time of publication, vulnerability affected Cisco ASDM releases earlier than release 7.181.152. This is typically how a lot of CVEs go. It's you know listing the firmware versions that are impacted or vulnerable, and typically then listing you know which version it needs to be to ensure that you are now safe and secure from it. I'm sure if I scroll down here, I can see there is some fixed versions. Uh, first fixed version release, so 7.181.152. Uh, so obviously, you know, making sure that we're running that at least 7.18.1.152 or newer to make sure that the Cisco ASA devices or the devices running the Cisco ASDM are secure. So what can we do? What can we do with LionGuard? So first, let's take a look and see the metric. So right now I know the metric is not already inside of LionGuard, but again, LionGuard's flexibility allows you to add metrics for the data that is being collected. And this is data that is collected. So I can go to that share.lionguard.com. I've already done the search. It's in here, Cisco ASA, the ASDM version. All I have to do is copy this field Go over into LionGuard, go into my admin metric section. And again, I can verify that it's not already here. I can go ASA. I can look at ASDM. And I can see I have no metric here today. So let's do add metric. Select our Cisco ASA. ASDM version. I'm going to come down here to the data print query and I'm going to paste that field. So now I can see 7.14. This Cisco ASA would be impacted by that Cisco security update that they just put out because that's not at least the version of 7.18. Here you can see we're using that 7.14. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this. And now if I come in here and same thing, if I search ASA, I can see my ASDM version just created by myself. Having this display field turned on gives us that capability of looking at this for all of your clients. So what I can do is I can come over back to the Lion, go into Systems. I'm going to pull up my, Cis my Cisco ASA, take a look at Metrics. And now what I want to do is I see I have my ASA software version here, but I want to do Select Metrics, and I want to see the ASDM version. So now I have a report showing me the ASDM version, the ASA, last config modification, the serial number, next schedule, the customer that it's for, and the name of it inside of LionGuard. Now I can use my filtering options to come here and say, let's see, does not, does not contain 7.18, and it's 7.18.1.152.1.152. So now what that filter is allowing me to do is that's giving me now that list of anything that is not that ASDM version. So now I have that information. I can export this list. It's going to drop it into a CSV file. I can then drop that right into the body of the ticket, send that over to my escalations team and say, hey, Cisco put out a bulletin. All of our ASAs need updated to this latest firmware. The list of impacted devices is in the ticket. That is how you can utilize LionGuard to gain that operational advantage, to do things faster, solve issues faster, and ultimately, when a CVE or a firmware product comes out, knowing which devices have to be done so that your team can focus on working on it, not logging into every Cisco ASA, or assuming that manual documentation is correct. So that's just another way that LionGuard can help save you time and help you find that operational advantage. Thanks for watching.